Hi, and welcome to episode 21 of Culture Watch Radio. I'm Andrew Smith, and with me is Bill Muhlenberg. Today, we're taking Culture Watch on the road. Bill, we, we are pre-recording this segment. Why is it? Yeah, well, it's a, a, a kind of itinerant ministry I have. I'm traveling quite a bit. And uh, in fact, just days ago, back from the United States, before that, Sydney, Canberra, and now I'm just about to head off to Perth and then Singapore. So sometimes it's better to get these things recorded uh, while we have a chance, while we're still on planet Earth. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we can relax a bit on the airplanes. But yeah, do a fair bit of traveling uh, with Culture Watch, a lot of speaking and teaching and conferences. So uh, for that reason, we thought we'd uh, get this one done ahead of time. So why is there so much travel? Mm. Oh, well, I, it's a good question. Sometimes I think I wish you could just live a quiet, peaceful life, stay home, read books, you know, and the stuff I enjoy. But, uh, well, the nature of the work that I do, of course, it's about getting truth out in the public arena. It's about warning uh, people about some things that we need to be aware of. It's kind of a watchman on the wall ministry. So all of that will often take me to different places. I'll get invited to speak at a church or a conference. Uh, sometimes uh, there's a rally going on that they ask me to come to or, you know, any number of functions. And I'm generally pretty willing to go uh, pretty much anywhere. Uh, it's important, as I say, to get the good word out, to get truth out. And uh, while it would be nice to see good voices in various cities and countries, and I know there are, uh, often there's just not as much of that around. There's not as many people speaking out on some of these things. So, uh, for example, I just released a new book, and that's generated interest. So for various reasons, we get invites, and, uh, yeah, I try to make use of many of them if I can and hopefully have an impact. In terms of getting a feel for what's needed out there, I mean, what are the main topics that you actually go and speak on? Yeah, look, it'd be quite a, a range of topics. I mean, there's a standard fair, if you will. Uh, the whole gist of Culture Watch is, you know, the culture wars, speaking on truth about the ethical issues of the day, uh, apologetics, you know, defending the faith. So quite often it's that kind of generic message. You know, we need to be, as Christians, involved in the issues of the day, we need to be salt and light. We need to be transforming our culture. So that can often be even just as that, a kind of a generic, come on, church, wake up. We got to get involved. Uh, sure, often it could be a specific issue. Uh, homosexual marriage can often be the case. Abortion, uh, bioethics, the new atheism. We might talk about the new age. Uh, biblical worldview. So it can be pretty uh, wide ranging, just as my uh, website, Culture Watch, is. If you look there, there's what, about 80 different category headings on the right hand side of the page. Uh, so we really do cover quite a bit, but certainly it's often speaking to other Christians, uh, alerting them to the issues of the day, encouraging them to be salt and light and to get out there and make a stand. And of course, you know you're good when you're getting protesters turning up as well. I mean, Bill, how receptive are the people that come to hear you? Well, you've uh, raised a valid point, sadly. Often there are uh, this kind of unwelcome uh, welcoming committee uh, protesters there who found out you're speaking and um, more than once. In fact, a number of times I've had to actually run the gauntlet. Often there's been a police presence or at least security guards to, uh, you know, keep the protesters away so I could simply enter into a venue to speak or have some of the uh, audience members as well get into the venue. So, uh, yeah, that can happen uh, pretty often. It's, it's not always fun. They can be pretty angry and aggressive and loud and uncouth and, you know, sometimes even throwing things at you. So it can get pretty wild out there. And that's amazing. You know, Australia, a democracy where free speech should be the order of the day. So sadly, that's uh, where we're getting to be as a country where more and more free speech is being shut down by the militants. And you really have to fight to get into a venue. However, once you do get in, uh, usually pretty receptive audiences. Obviously, they come because they want to hear you. And, you know, I've had all kinds of different uh, 
crowds, if you will. I've spoken to small groups of people. I've spoken to very large groups of people. So uh, I'm, I'm always happy to go anywhere to speak truth. If people are keen and if they're really willing to run with it, to take what I'm offering, you know, I always, in fact, I will say it often, Jesus had 12 people, you know, not a huge crowd, 12 people, motley crew, but as we read in the Bible, they turn the world upside down. So I'm more than happy to go, uh, you know, the other end of the country and speak to 12 people if I knew they were going to take the word and run with it and really passionately make a difference. That's what I'm looking for, people who want to stand up and be counted. Mm. I often imagine uh, a wall of protesters would make the ultimate background for a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yes, I, I've, I've got a few uh, photos like that, but uh, sure, I put it on Facebook, and here's me in the, in the Pharaoh uh, crowd. Uh, look, it, it's part of the job. Uh, it's sad, actually, that it has to go that way. I mean, again, up until recently, we believed in freedom of speech, but now more and more, uh, that's being shut down. So it's kind of a sad commentary on the culture we live in, but... Uh, well, wow, that's what's happening, getting more and more polarized and more and more angst on uh, the other side who actually doesn't want our point of view to be heard. So perhaps all the more reason why we need to get out there. And of course, going on these trips will also take you away from your family for periods of time. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's kind of the downside, if you will, of all this. I mean, very rarely uh, we'll say my wife joined me. I mean, well, look, for much of uh, the past many years, you, she's looking after the family and everything, and somebody's got to stay and run the home. So it hasn't been possible for certainly at least my wife to join me, and the kids almost never. So, yeah, that uh, that can be a downside. You're leaving the family sometimes for, well, in this case, several weeks plus. Uh, so you certainly enjoy it when you get back home. That's always the highlight. But um, at least in this age, we've got everything from Skype and mobile phones and Internet. You know, you can keep in touch. Uh, I think when I first started off a long time ago, you had to send, uh, send an aerogram, you know, across the seas to somebody if you were a missionary. And, uh, boy, that was a bit tough. So today, at least, it's easier with instant communication. So when you look back, is it worth it? Well, that's a good question. You like to think that what you're doing is for the kingdom, for Christ in the kingdom. And, uh, you know, if you're doing it uh, according to the call of God, according to his will, doing it faithfully, you have to believe, yeah, it is worth it. Again, you don't always see the immediate response. You wonder often, well, you know, am I really making a difference? Am I having an impact? Is all this worth it, all the travel, all the grief, all the protests? But again, if you have this sense that God is calling you to do the work, well, you do it faithfully, and you really, and you live, leave the results up to God. I think it was Mother Teresa who said, God hasn't called us to be successful. He's only called us to be faithful. And that's all we can do is faithfully do what we believe we're called to do. Uh, you know, we plant seeds, we spread the word, it's up to God to make it fruitful, to make it uh, multiply. So, you know, you get some good feedback sometimes and you think, okay, it's been worth it. Sometimes you wonder, you scratch your head, but if you're doing it faithfully unto God, I think nothing we do for him is really wasted. Mm. And of course, more information and resources are available at the Culture Watch website. And we'll see you again next week with another episode of Culture Watch Radio.